Good evening, guys. How is everybody doing? How are you guys? How's everything? All good? Doctor, nice to see you, doctor. Delmi, always good to see you, Delmi. Hello, how are you? Ana Rebecca, I am excellent, guys. I feel very energetic today. We're going to play a game today, which is very fun, even for me, guys. So, so you know, it's good. Uh, Ana Rebecca, nice to see you. How are you doing? Everything good? All good, 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 good. Okay, right. Karen, nice to see you. Susana, nice to see you too. Uh, Marcela, Carla, Lisette, Carla, Lisette, and Lisette Marisol, nice to see you. Jose, all right, good, good, good. Okay. I, I hadn't noticed we had more women here. We don't have too many men here. <laughs> what, what happened to the men? Why are you not here? We had more men here. All right, very good. So, uh, Jose, nice to see you, man. Karen, Karen, and Lisa, hello, nice to see you. How are you? So, how is uh, how is your day today, guys? Everything good? I'm good. Doctor Barrientos, yes. how, what do you do it's today? My doctor? day free today. It's nice. Today, today it's your day was off. My, was my day free? Your yeah, day, day off. This that's my day off. That's that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Is anybody here having um, a vacation soon? No. I'll have uh, my you know my vacation is coming up. You know, so I'm not uh, in vacation, but I'm at home, at home all days because uh, for the I am studying online. Oh, nice, nice, nice. You know. I I want to, I mean, if I could, I would go to Argentina for holidays, but I mean, for vacation, but I think I'm going to go to Costa Rica if everything goes well. Um, and I'll take, you know, my, my, my time off, my vacation on, on, well, in December. So I don't know. I don't know, Rick, it would be cool, right? But, uh, but, but Costa Rica is extremely expensive and that's the thing, you know? That's the only thing I don't want. That, that's the only reason I wouldn't want to go to Costa Rica because it's, it's absolutely expensive, you know. My one of my best friends lives there, which is you know where I'm supposed to be staying. But I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens, you know. Anyways, guys, okay. I'm I'm very I'm very glad to see you here. Um, I don't know. Does anybody here Did have? You? Tell me. I visited Costa Rica three years ago, and it it was expensive. Yes, I know. I've been, I've been to Costa Rica. Yeah, I've been to Costa Rica. It is, it is. San Jose is really beautiful. You know, really, really beautiful. I don't know what's up with, with El Salvador. Why can we not? Well, we we might be like that. You know, if we had a different culture and also, if our politicians were not stealing so much money, right? But because uh, it's it's really beautiful, guys. You have no idea. San Jose is absolutely amazing. It doesn't look like El Salvador whatsoever. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's clean. It's cleaner than uh, it's really it's, cleaner. It's, it's way cleaner, man. Like it's, it's saying it's clean. You know, it's an understatement. You know, it's way cleaner. Right. Uh, and 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 overall, you know, it's very pacific. You know, it's it's way more secure. Right. You don't need a a control territorial there. You know, it's really nice. You know, really, really nice. In Costa Rica, there is a uh, uh, military. Yeah, they don't have they don't have military. Yeah, they, they, they don't have they, any military. They, they there. don't have military. Yes. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening, Miriam. How are you? Everything good? Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm very well. Ah, uh, yes. Costa Rica is very expensive. Yes. I yes, know. Yes. 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 All right. San good. Jose, Costa Rica is a good place too. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? It's really, really nice. Um, I miss traveling. That's that's one of my things. I say, I I want to. I actually want to go to France. You know, I have this. I, I really want to go there because if I live there for a couple of months, I would, I would learn French like this, guys. You know, so, so that's uh, that's that's you know that's another place I really need to visit. But anyways, okay. Um, thank you guys for being here early. Today, guys, uh, we have a very interesting topic, and I promised you 
that we would play, right? So we will play today, guys, and today's game is actually way better than the ones we've been um, <clears throat> playing before, okay? All right, guys, so um, so we talked about present perfect, guys, and what we use it for, okay, and we've been practicing present perfect, but did you know that you can combine, guys, present perfect and simple past? That's what we're going to see today, guys. And also, we're going to talk about simple past in general, especially ED endings, okay? All right? ED endings, guys, is a very interesting topic because it's actually how you pronounce things, okay? It's about how you pronounce the past verbs, okay? So let's get down to business. Then. What, what's the objective for today? Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Francisco Artiga, help me read. What is the objective for today, Francisco? All right, not there. Hey, Elsie, what is the objective for today, Elsie? Not there, ask, okay, my guy. Okay. Right. Oh, there, there you go, Elsie, let's go. Objective, in this lesson, Participants will learn when to use present versus simple past. Very good, guys. Okay, really, really good job. Okay. All right. So, present perfect and simple past, guys. Okay. So, what, how can we use this in combination? Um, let's see. Uh, sorry, all right. Um, Ivan, right? Ivan, help me read, Ivan. So when do we use the present perfect versus, versus simple past? Um, use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Indefinite, repeat indefinite. Indefinite time in the use past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. All right, very good. Okay, so um, very good. Okay, so indefinite time in the past. And, and what about uh, simple past? So the difference, guys, thank you, Ivan. Okay, so the difference between them two, guys, is that with present perfect, okay, you have an indefinite. You don't know, you know, right? There is no uh, specific time in the past, guys. With simple past, there is a specific time and event in the past, okay? So, for example, take check this out. And this is where I want you to notice, guys, there, there can be a combination, right? When you say, guys, all right, how do you read this? Um, let, help me read. Help me, help me ask this question. Elizabeth Torres, okay? So how would you ask me that question? Okay. Have you ever eaten? Um, I don't know how to pronounce these words. More. Moroccan food. Good. Have you ever eaten? Uh, eaten. I repeat. Have you ever eaten Moroccan, Moroccan food? food? Okay. Very good. Okay. So, what is the answer? Notice that the. Notice. Take a look at the answer, guys. The answer we got here. Okay. Uh, so, Carla Lisette. Okay, Carla Lisette. How do we answer? Yes, I yes, I have I ate it once in Paris. All right, so I ate it once in Paris, okay? All right. So yes, I have I ate it once in Paris. So guys, let's take taking a look at the answer, okay? Uh Lisette Marisol, okay, taking a look at the answer. Tell me, do we have here a present perfect tense yes or no what do you think no all right uh... so in the answer yes i have i ate it once in uh, paris Is yes there... i have i eat it once in okay um uh eat once in paris so is there a pres is there a present perfect tense here? What do you think? Simple simple pass. Simple pass. So there is no there is no simple I mean present perfect tense here. Yes, yes right, I have is present 
perfect teacher yes yes exactly guys yes there is present perfect here right yes i have uh -huh. guys, but in you this answer in, in guys the order? you answer the okay if i'm asking you a question guys in present perfect you have to start answering with present perfect right so yes i have right yes i have this is present perfect see so that's why i'm saying it's a combination right it's present all right perfect okay all right i hope that you understand my handwriting guys right trust me i'm a doctor all right so uh <clears throat> this is a present perfect and this this one right here i ate it once in paris is this um is this is this uh simple, simple? Pass. simple pass. okay simple pass. So we say i ate it once in paris guys <clears throat> all right this is simple past okay so why am i combining them both <clears throat> Can I hear you, David? Turn on your microphone, David. Turn on your microphone. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. So, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know that you were not hearing. So, tell me, guys, when I say, uh, when I'm talking to, so why am I combining them both, guys? Okay. What is, why am I saying, yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. Hey, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. Why? Why am I not saying yes? I have. I have because, eaten it in Paris. Because it's a specific event. Very good, guys. Okay. Yes, I have. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have, right? Okay, so here, okay, I have to answer yes, I have because I have to answer in present perfect, guys. Okay. Tenés que responder con una, con la primera, la primera opción tiene que ser in present perfect porque la pregunta is in present perfect. Sin embargo, cuando tenés. Si vas a dar información, si vas a continuar la respuesta y la información va a ser específica, un evento específico, tenés que responder con simple past, ¿ok? Entonces hay una combinación de ambos. There you have a combination of them too, ¿ok? All right. Very good, guys. Ok, all right. Uh, the same thing happens with the, uh, the second example. Delmi. Hello, Delmi. All right, help me read, Delmi. Hello, David. Tell me. Uh, have you ever had green curry? Have you ever had green curry? Okay, now uh, with this question, all right, tell me. All right, tell us why are we answering here with a present perfect, um, well, answer and short answer, <clears throat> and why are we answering with a, a simple past tense too? Okay. Uh, yes, yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Tried it several years ago. Tried, tried several years Try, ago. Tried it, tried it. Tried it, tried it. Yes. Several. Several, several years. Years. Years ago. 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 Ego. Ego. Okay, very good. So tell us, explain, explain it to us. Why are we using here present perfect and, and simple past? You this are example, This example, teacher, is more um, difficult for me because several years ago is like in a specific. Okay. But then it's indefinite. The activity is finished. Remember oh, a specific, okay. Okay, a specific okay, okay. event, guys. Event, okay. Okay. It's not saying specific time, okay. The first one is okay, indefinite okay, okay. time, and then a specific event, okay. So, have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago, okay. So the specific event, guys, is that you tried curry, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very okay. good. Very good. Right now, I understand. All right. Very good. Okay. <laughs> So now, all right, what if, what if it is negative? What if you, you know, have uh, never tried it? So what is the answer then? And tell me, all right, what is, what, what is the difference in, in the tenses that we have when we answer in negative form? In, ne in negative form, use present perfect. Mm 
not a specific uh, the time. In the in David, in the negative form, uh, we use uh, in the short answer the perfect, the present perfect, and the and for the next uh, answer too. David, sure. turn on your microphone, please. Oh, I don't know what, why am you I being muted? In... Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. All you right. Hear so, me? yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I was okay. just muted. So, guys, okay. So, when I say guys, no, I haven't. I was going to tell you guys that you guys are right, right? When you say, no, I haven't, okay? We, I'm answering, no, I haven't, because I have to answer like that, because the question is in a present perfect form, okay? But then, you know, what changes is, you mentioned it, is uh, when, I, when I say I have it, I, I've, never, I've never had it, okay? I'm talking about, um, I'm talking in present perfect now. Why? Because am I, am I, am I talking about a specific event here? Have you ever had, have you ever had green curry? I never had it, okay? If I say I never had it, guys, okay, that doesn't sound right. Because right now, guys, both answers are referring to indefinite time. And not about a specific event, okay? All right. Okay, okay. So, also, guys, another thing to point out is that you can always answer. I mean, you can always, 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 always give an answer, a long answer to in present perfect, okay? So instead of saying yes, uh, have you ever had green uh, green curry? Yes, I have. You know, I've had green curry. I have had the green curry. So you can answer like that too. Because now you're making emphasis on the indefinite time rather than in uh, <clears throat> in the um, the specific event. Okay, so using simple past, all right, is possible, not necessary, okay, okay, but possible to use if you are going to talk about a specific event. Okay, if you're gonna keep talking about indefinite time, then you should be working uh, well you should be using present perfect instead okay yes all right so what i'm saying guys si vas a hablar si vas a una respuesta in present perfect puedes dar la respuesta en 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 present perfect la la respuesta larga que se puede dar in present perfect también right entonces en toda situación vos puedes dar la respuesta in present perfect but you give la, a, an example Yes, with, the, with yes, yes. I gave you the example already, but ya le di el ejemplo hablado, but but yeah, I'll give you more examples. Don't worry, okay? So, uh, pero 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 puedes también la, la respuesta larga puede ser en past simple past. Si sí, te vas a referir al evento específico, okay? De lo contrario, si vas a dar una respuesta larga, también puede ser in person perfect, okay? So the example is this, guys. Okay, so let's let's talk about the examples, all right? So you can say, let's let's use that example that we gather. <clears throat> Hi, uh, have you ever had green curry? Okay, so have you have you ever had green curry? All right. So if I if I ask this guys, okay, have you ever had green curry? All right. I can answer, yes, I have. I have had green curry all right all right so you can always answer see guys what in what tense are these uh sentences in present perfect okay so all right so that is in present perfect right so yes i have is in present perfect i have had i have had my uh i have had green curry is also in present perfect okay so these guys you can always answer like this but over here, guys, am I, talk, am I talking about a specific um, a specific event or am I talking about indefinite time? I'm talking about indefinite time, right? All right. So yeah. if you want to change this, okay, now, can I say, guys, yes, I have, I had green curry. Is this correct? Not because uh, in the past? we are talking about the, the uh, event. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, no, 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 no. A definite time versus that we are versus specific event, right? So I want to talk about this specific event, guys. Okay, so you can say if you want to make this correct, correct, guys. I mean, I had green curry is technically uh, grammatically correct, right? But, but in this situation, guys, I have to specify the time. Yes, I have. I had green curry. You can say a couple of times. A couple of times. You can say one time. You can say in 2019 or for some reason, I, 2020, right? Whatever. Got it? So here, guys, you can specify, you know, you can have a specific time because the action already finished. Okay. So, el, el, el pasado, guys, viene a hablar de una acción que ya terminó. Okay. Si, entonces, vos vas a decir, sí, eh, comí curry, comí curry, right? Sí, comí curry, right? Suena, I mean, está gramáticamente bien que digas eso, pero cuando decís eso, tenés que decir el tiempo when, ¿ok? Porque es una acción que ya terminó. Si vos no especificas el tiempo, entonces decís, I have had green curry. You see, he comido green curry. Ya he comido green curry antes, right? All right. So, don't, don't uh, make this overcomplicated, guys, right? You can answer, guys, in both tenses, ¿ok? Just... Whatever makes more sense for you guys, okay? All right? When you're pronouncing it, guys, whatever makes more sense to you, okay? All right? Questions here, guys? Do you need more examples? All right? All right. Now, notice, guys, that we're talking about uh, yes or no questions, okay? All right. Let's see. Let's, uh, Carlos, Dr. Barrientos, tell me, right? Give me one example. Ask me one question, present perfect. Go ahead. You, oh, you're muted, my the teacher. Doctor. Uh, no, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Have you, have you ever played tennis, teacher? Very good, okay, so have you ever played tennis, okay? So, hey, have you ever played tennis? Okay, so how can I answer this, all right? Now, do my favor, guys. I want everybody to send me an answer for this question in the chat, okay? Let's go. All right, let's see how much you understood. So you can either say a long um, present perfect answer or you can combine them, right? A short present perfect and um, a long, simple past, okay? So let's combine them if you want. Combine, yes, I have. I played tennis in the high school. In high school, not in the high school. In high school. Baby, baby. Tell me. Excuse me, please. How do you write yate? Yat. Yat. Like this, like this, yat. Okay, thank you. Like that. Yet. All right. All right, that's a good answer, Cesar. No, I haven't. I've never played tennis. All right, that's a good answer.
All right, so let's see what you got so far. So it says, um, it says, no, I haven't, I've never played tennis. Jose Sayas Portillo, I never have played. Now, Jose, that is incorrect, okay? The whole structure is incorrect there, Jose. Let's correct that. Carla, yes, I have played tennis. You, Carla, you need to give me a very a long answer, okay? Yes, I have played tennis, okay, and then give me a long answer. With try to use guys simple pass, combine it with the past, right? Betty, no, I haven't. I've just played basketball. Very good. Remember, it, try to use simple pass, guys, if you're gonna give me a specific time too, okay? Yes, I have a play tennis in high school. Very good. That is a very good example, Gabby. That is perfect, okay? You are really, really good, Gabby. Marcela, I yes, I has. <laughs> yes, I have, right? I think that you made you you made a typo there. Uh, I played tennis when I was 15 years old. Very good. Uh, Jose Carlos Rodriguez. Yes, I have. I played tennis in, two, in 2019. Good job, Miriam. I have not had the opportunity to play tennis yet. Okay, good job. Yes, I have. I played tennis in Ciudad Melio three years ago. All right. Um, Jose Carlos Barrientos. Yes, I have. I played tennis. I have played tennis, okay, very good. Maritza, no, I haven't played tennis, okay? Good job, guys, okay? Good job, guys, all right? Very good. All right, so it seems that you got the the idea behind it, okay? Any, any questions, guys? All good? All right. Very good, guys, so anyways, okay? So, um, so in simple past, guys, okay, all right, let's talk about the simple past, okay? Miriam, help me read, Miriam. Yes, of course. <laughs> simple past tense. The simple past is a verb tense, tense that is used to talk about things that happened or existed before now. Imagine some someone as what you what your brother uh, was was did while he was in town last weekend. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So, anyways, so taking a look at this example right here. What guys, is okay. what is Wolfgang a uh, uh, a last name? Yes, that's a name. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, right. Very good. Wolfgang, Wolfgang, uh, Wolfgang entered a hula hoop contest, okay? Now, here, guys, okay, we're talking about an event that already finished, okay? Okay, finished. Okay. So here, guys, okay, so so that's it, okay? That is the usage of simple, pres of simple past, okay? Now, we use simple past, guys, when we talk about something that has already happened, okay? Unlike the past continuous tense, guys, which is used to talk about past events that happen over a period of time, the simple past tense emphasizes that the action is finished. So, for example, if you take a look at this action, guys, Wolfgang, Wolfgang admired the way the light glinted off his silver medal. Okay. Again, guys, is this an event that, that already finished or is this something that is currently happening or that was happening like continuously in the past? What do you think, guys? Did, did, did this action already finish or not? What do you think? Yes. yes. All right, yes. Yes, it did, right? So, therefore, you know, I mean, simple pass, right? If you're going to talk about an action that already finished, okay? Now, guys, okay, this is where I want, this is where I wanted to focus on, okay? So I'll explain this, guys, in 15 minutes, and then we're going to play, all right? So pay attention, guys, because I want you to have the opportunity to play today. We have words, guys, in the past, okay? For example, this, for example, this, and for example, this okay so guys let's see um 
Carla Lisset, okay, how do you read the first word? Hello, David. Uh, indicated. All right, very good, okay. All right, so, okay, all right, very good. Um, let's see, Jose Carlos Rodriguez, how do you read the second word? Uh, kick it. Okay, all right. That, that the pronunciation there is wrong. So this is the reason why we're gonna learn this today, okay? Very good. Um, let's see, Stephanie Alejandra. Okay, Stephanie, how do you read the last word, the third one? Kits. Kits, like this, kits. No, kit. Kit, like this. <laughs> how do we read it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's okay. All right, uh, all right. Tell me, how do we read the last one? Okay, kids. Okay, all right. Now, how do we read um, this, guys? How do we read? Uh, hold on. My God, I'm thinking about one. Uh, hold on, guys. Let's take a list of um. Hold on, let me take a list of verbs in. Ride. No, because ride is irregular. This is guys. By the way, this is only oh, with okay, regular okay. verbs. Okay, regular verbs. Give me a verb that ends in a in an n or an what? m. What? No, watch is not an M, okay? I need I need an M, an M, played, okay, all right? Play. All right, we can say play, all right? Played, okay? So this has a different ending, okay? All right, guys, had. so. All right, very good. Had, no, guys, had, had, is, had. Had, had is irregular. I need regular verbs, okay? So anyways, guys, so here, guys, we don't say, we the pronunciation is indicated. The pronunciation here is kicked, not kicked. Right? The pronunciation is here is kissed, not kissed. The pronunciation here is played, not played. All right? The pronunciation here is lived, not lived, nor lived, lived. Okay? So, how many types of pronunciation do we have in the past, guys, for past tenses? Five. <laughs> we have three, guys. Three. three. We have three, right? Ed, ta, and da. What are the three that we have, guys? Ed, Ed ta, ta, and da. ta, and da. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we have three of them. So what is the rule behind yeah. them? Okay. The rule behind them, guys, has to do with your voice. Okay. If you use your voice to pronounce a consonant, then, um, then you know, you will pronounce it as a, as a, as a da sound. If you don't use your voice, to pronounce the final consonant, consonant, uh, then you will pronounce it as ta. Okay. Now here's the thing, guys. All right. <laughs> so here's the thing. Okay. Let's say, guys. Okay. Um, let's talk about voiced consonants. And you know, unvoiced consonants. Okay, voice consonants, guys. All right, they we have a couple of things here. Okay, they first off, okay, they use your voice, secondly, they vibrate. Okay, unvoiced consonants. Okay, on the other hand, they do not use your voice. And guess what? Do you think that they, they vibrate or not? Not. Okay, so so one, okay, they they don't use your voice. And secondly, no vibration, right? Very good. What do I mean by this, guys? Okay. 
first of all, to on, to determine, guys, if it's vibrates or not, you have to think about the regular verbs only, okay? This only applies to regular verbs, guys. Only to regular verbs, okay? All right? So, for example, guys, um, if we say, um, you have to think about the word think, you know, think about the word in present, okay? Present tense, guys, okay? So, for example, give me a verb in the present, guys. Love. In the love, okay? <clears throat> okay, now, love as a, as a verb, guys, not as a noun, okay? So let's 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 talk about love, okay? So love, guys, right? That's a very sad green. Let's use a happy green, okay? Love. All right. So when we talk about love, guys, the verb, okay? What is the final sound that you hear in the word love? Everybody say love. Love. Love, okay? What is the love. final sound that you hear in the word love? ¿Cuál es el sonido final que vos oís en la palabra love? Consonante. Ok, es una consonante, right? Pero ¿qué, qué, boca, qué, qué consonante es? ¿Cómo es el sonido? ¿Cómo es el sonido? ¿Cómo es el sonido? Ok, now, todo el mundo, everybody, do me a favor. Touch your throat. Quiero que se toque en la garganta, ok? All right, everybody, do this, ok? Love. Do this. Touch it, yeah. guys. Touch it, okay? Love. And say, love. 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 Right? love. Now, love. do you feel any vibration? Sienten vibración. Cuando love. dicen love en su garganta, yes. sienten vibración. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. All right, pero la vibración del último wow. sonido, guys. El último sonido es el vroom sound, wow. okay? Lo haces con tus dientes y con tus labios, okay? Con tus labios wow. inferiores y tus dientes superiores. Love, okay? Si sentí vibración, guys, el sonido final es una D. Ok, loved en, en el pasado. Entonces el pasado sería loved. Loved, loved ok, right? Loved. So this, the pronunciation is loved, see? Loved. No, se dice, no se dice love it, se dice loved, ok? Loved. Got it? All right, do we understand that, guys? Yes, yeah. loved, so, loved. So, so this one, guys, ok, this one is pronounced as like this. It's like you're, you're pronouncing this, loved, I mean, like this, ok? Loved, like that, see? Yeah. Así se lee, loved, okay? Got it? Yeah. All right, very good. All right, see la pronunciación, guys, okay? Ahora, tóquense su garganta, guys. Touch your throat again, right? I want you to pronounce kick. That kick. ¿Cuál es el sonido final, ¿Cuál es el sonido final guys, que escuchan? Kick. Kick. <laughs> Ahora, ese... Notice, estoy usando mi voz, guys? Yes or no? Am I using my voice no. ears or not, guys? No, right? No. no. Now, I, I go vibration, guys. Tiene vibration. Si yo no uso mi voz, I, mi voz no. hay vibration. No hay vibration, right? No. no. Si no hay vibration, guys, if there is no vibration, what you're going to do is that you're going to pronounce this as a ta sound, okay? So, the word in the past, kicked, sounds like this. It sounds like kicked, okay? Kicked. So, it is kicked and then a T here, right? Kicked. Everybody kicked. 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 Okay. Very good. Good kicked. job. Okay. All right. Now say kiss. Kicked. All right. Touch your throat. Kicked. Touch your throat, guys, and say kiss. 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 Kisses. Kiss. Do you feel vibration when you say kiss? yes or no? No. No. So no. what is the pronunciation? Kissed. 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 Okay. All right. Kissed. Very good. Okay. Give me another, uh, give me another verb, guys. Okay, think about a verb. Google it, Google it if you want. Wash. Okay, wash, Mark. okay, let's go about wash. Mark. Wash, say wash, guys, and touch your throat. Wash. 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 Everybody, wash. right, do this, yeah. guys. Hagan eso porque si no, no van a aprender, wash. guys, okay? Wash, wash. por gusto, wash. Now, wash. extiendan la, la pronunciación de la última consonante. Vibra o no vibra, wash. 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 No vibra, right? No vibration. So what is the pronunciation here? No vibration. So what is washed? Wash. Okay, very good. So it's like right? Wash. Okay. Right? Wash. Okay, so it, it is pronounced like washed. Got it? Washed. All right, very good. You gave me another one, right? Uh, what about what guys? Last. Say now. Notice, guys. Notice that it's about the sound. Es acerca del sonido. No, no de cómo se escribe, guys. Del sonido. ¿Cuál es la última consonante que escuchan en laugh? Laugh. 
Left sound. Very good. Okay. What is the final left. sound then in the past? Left. 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 Why? Because it, it doesn't vibrate, right? So left. Got it? Left. All right. Very good, guys. Yes. Whatever. Uh, what about um, what about uh, give me give me a regular need. verb with I need need Word. okay need all right now need guys now all right that is the third rule guys okay need, need it need it exactly now la tercera regla bien bien fácil guys the reason why is this okay the third rule guys in the third rule what we have is okay I'm gonna clear this guys okay in the third rule what we have is this if a verb and in the present, right? Remember, we're talking about the pronunciation in the present. If a verb, guys, ends in, in ta, okay? Or, uh, or or in a T, guys, or a D, all right? Sound, you pronounce it as ed, okay? Si ya termina aquí, guys, vos lo pronuncias como ed, okay? Ed. So, for example, guys, decide. What is the final sound that you hear in the word decide? Decide. 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 Es una D, right? Cuando está eso, vos decís decided, okay? Decided, okay? So it's an ed sound, okay? Entonces, si termina, se termina en una T y una D, guys, la, lo pronuncias como ed. Es la única vez, guys, que lo va a pronunciar como ed, okay? Entonces, la palabra kiss, guys, okay? When you say kiss, termina en una, en una, en una T o una D? Yes or no? No. No, right? All right, so then you apply the other rules. Does it vibrate or does it not vibrate? Kiss. Yes or no? Not vibrate. No, so what is the termination then? ¿Cuál es la terminación? Yes. Very good. Yeah. It's a ta, right? Yes. Very good. All right, give me one, guys. Give me a voice consonant, okay? Um, think about another verb that uses a voice consonant. Oh, what about um, use? Live. What? Offered. Live. Cover, okay, cover, all right? Very good, cover, okay? Let's use cover, okay, cover. Pronounce cover and touch your, th touch your throat, guys. Cover, 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 cover. right? Does it vibrate, yes cover. or no? Cover, yes, yes. yes guys, okay, it's just your voice, right? So what is the final pronunciation? What is the final consonant that we have at the end? That. Covered. That, right, covered, okay? Covered. Repeat, guys, covered. 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 All right, covered. very good. All right. Now, is that clear, guys? Is that clear? Yeah. It's Very yeah. good. Okay. So, do you want to play a game? No? No? Oh, my God. You don't want to? Okay, right. Let's let's not play a game then. All right. All right. Now, well, we're going to yes. play a game, guys. Okay, right. Of course. Right. Um, unfortunately for you, this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship, and I, I am your dictator. Remember? All right. Así que aunque me digan que no, igual lo voy a hacer. <laughs> All right, so anyways, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding, right? So anyways, we're going to play, guys, uh, something called Jeopardy, okay? And um, it goes like this, guys, okay? So uh, let me pull up the game here. First of all, I'm going to create like five teams, I think. Um, all right, so we're going to create five teams, guys, okay? So this is what we're going to do. Tengo 25 personas, okay? Entonces, cinco teams de cinco, got it? Cinco por cinco, 25, right? Five times five is 25, right? So anyways, all right. So uh, I need you guys to write down the names of your of your uh, participants, okay? Necesito que me describan el nombre de los integrantes de su grupo porque yo no lo voy a recordar, obviamente, all right? I'm not going to remember them. Okay, so team number one, Gaby, Edgar, Marcela, Jose Carlos Barrientos, and Cesar. That is team number one, okay? Remember those names. Write them down, okay? Okay. Team number two. Team number two is going to be... Could you repeat, please? Could, could you repeat team one, please? Gaby, Edgar, Marcela, Jose, Carlos Barrientos, and Cesar. Cesar. All right, team number two, Jose, Isaias, Miriam, Ana Francisca, Maritza, and Delmi. All right, team number three, La Carla, Carla Lisset, Elizabeth, Jose Carlos, 
Claudia and Ana Rebecca. All right, team number four, Karen, Elisa, mm, Karen, Renata, Asu Lorena, Betty Gomez, and Lisette Marisol. Team number five, Stephanie, Alejandra, Stephanie, Alejandra Sea, I don't know if that's the same person, Ivan, Jose Patriz. All right, I think that's that's you twice. Um, Susana Betzabe and Emerson Cáceres, okay? Your team number five, okay? So real quick, guys, real quick. You have to give me the name for your teams, guys, okay? Deme un nombre para su equipo, guys. Si no me lo hagan en tres segundos, yo les elijo el nombre, okay? So, uh, Gabby, team number one, what name do you want for your team? Okay, number kidding. Five, four, three, that two. Cubos. That cubos. <laughs> very good, okay? Da cubos, okay? Cubos. All right, very good, all right? Da cubos, okay? Very good. Um... Team number two, what team, what name, what name do you want? What? What? All right, all right, all right, very good. Team Eau, all right, very good. Team number three, what, what name do you want? Pioneers. What? Okay. Pioneers. Okay. Pioneers. Okay. Pioneers. Okay. That's what you say. Pioneers, right? That's what you say. I think that you want no. to say pioneers, okay? I don't know. All right, team number four, what th what name do you want, team number four? What? I can hear you, okay? Well, I'm gonna name you, I can't hear you because I can't hear you, okay? Very good, team number five, what do you, what team do you want for your team? What name do you want for your team, I'm sorry. We are here. We are here? Yeah. We <laughs> are here. Okay. Are. We are here. Okay. We are here. Okay. There you go. All right. We are here. All right. Great, guys. So the Cubos, Ewawawas, Pioneers, I can hear you, and Baby. we are here. Okay. All right. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Right? That's the name that I heard. Okay. All right. All right. The Cubos. Okay. Right. The Cubos. All right. So choose a category. Van a elegir una categoría, guys. Después van a apostar cuánto dinero van a elegir bajo esa categoría, ¿ok? Después de que yo elija el, 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 el número, todo mundo, guys, tiene que decir, si vos querés ganarte los 500 pesos que vamos a apostar, tenés que decir mi y el nombre de tu equipo, right? Mi, Ewawa, mi, The Cubos, mi, Pioneers, mi, I can hear you, mi, are, we are here, got it? Si no escucho eso, guys, y solo me das su opinión, no vas a ganar puntos, ¿ok? Si te equivocas, vas a, voy a sustraer, sustraer los puntos, got it? So, all right, so that's how we're gonna work on this, okay? Thank you, okay, so the cubos, what category do you choose? Que categoría, what category? Simple. Simple, what do you mean simple, man? Sim pas simple. Pas simple, okay, very good, okay? I mean, it says pas simple here too. Read read it all, guys, read it all, read it all. Make sense this is pas simple. Very good, make sense this is pas simple, okay, very good. How much money do you, do, do you have? How much money do you want to bet? 300. Very good. All right, guys. So everybody be ready, okay? El primero que me diga, me, me, uh, me, Wawawa, right? Or me, el nombre de su equipo, ese va a tener la ch el chance de participar. Got it? That person is going to have the chance to participate. All right, very good. So 300, 3 to 1. I sing very well at this, the audition, okay? So let's make a sentence with this. Me too. Me cubes, okay, cubes, let's go. I sang very well at the audition. Very good. I sang very well at the audition. Good job, All right, cubos. Okay, cubos, you the earned cubes. 300 Ooh, points, 100. okay. 300, okay, very good, All right? Hey, Wawa, let's go. What What do you want, hey, Wawa? Yes, go ahead. Make a sentence, but simple. Make a sentence, but simple, for how much? Um, how much? How much? Three thousand. Three thousand. Thank you very much. That doesn't exist. Ah, four thousand. Four thousand. That doesn't. I don't see four thousand here. That doesn't exist here. Hundred. It's hundred. Uh -huh. Not thousand. 
Okay, for honor, honor, you say, okay? Oh, okay, okay. For All right, let's go. So, it says they not be friends in primary school. Me, cubes. Cubes, okay, cubes. Let's go, cubes again. They weren't friends in primary school. Very good. They weren't friends in primary school. Good job. Cube 700 points. Yeah. Guys, come Ooh, on. Yo, Coach right? Marcella. I All like right. Coach Marcella. Very good. Okay. So let's go. Uh, Pioneers. Let's go, Pioneers. What category? Present perfect. Present perfect for how much? But which one? May you have guys read it all, please, okay? Leanlo todo, no me a present perfect. There are two present perfects here. Make a sentence perfect. Present perfect. For how much? 200. 200, okay? All right, let's go, guys. He ever go to Egypt? He goes, I can hear Me you. what? Me, I can hear you. Mm. Oh, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, I can hear you. You're right. I can't hear you. All right, let's go. I can't hear you. He has ever gone to Egypt. Has he? Has he ever gone to Egypt? Egypt. Okay, Egypt. Good job. Egypt, has he ever Egypt. gone to Egypt? I can barely hear you. Thank you very much. Okay, 200 points. Good job, right? Very good. Okay, so I can't hear you. Choose a category. Guys, necesito todo el equipo, right? Because the, the only person that's talking, I can't hear her. Okay, so... I really can't hear you. Let's go. Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs for how much? 300. 300, okay, very good. What's the past simple and the past participle of write, leave, forget, run, and sing? Rot. Me cubes. Cubes, let's go. I can hear you. Cubes. What? Rot. Rot, what? Live. Forgot. All right, all right. Cubes, cubes, you have one chance. If not, you're going to lose the points, okay? You're going to, I'm going to subtract points from you. Give me all the tenses in the past from these verbs, cubes. Um, can I help to Marcela? Yeah, of course you can help Marcela. Oh, okay. Rod, left, forget. Yeah. What? For God, run, song. For God, run, 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 song. Okay, um, right. Song, I uh, song, song, guys, or sang. S A N S A N G. I don't know. You have to pronounce it. Sing, song, song. Song, song. Song. Are you sure, song? Yes. Yes. Final answer. Yes. yes. All right, then you guys, I'm sorry. The pronunciation is sang. Okay, not song. All right, I, so I, you I, lose. Is you lose I, I 400 I, 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 I'm sorry, you yeah. lose. Okay, so you're 400 and 200, sang. okay? I'm sorry, guys, all right? Ah, I told you, right? Pronunciation. Teacher. <laughs> all right. Hey, and it says the past participle, too. Okay, so um, I thought he was. I'm sorry, I did. Okay. I, did I, sorry. Heard, I did not read that it was a past participle too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the points. Uh, okay, all right, whatever. Yes. All right, very good. All right, I gave you the points. Right, good, good, good. <laughs> all right, very good. All right, next one. Okay, uh, we are here. Let's go. Choose a category. We are here. Quickly. We are here. Hello. Are you here? We are here. No. All right, let's go. What category do you choose? Que categoría? Um, present. Pres, no. Present perfect or past simple. Okay, very good. For how much? Um, 400. Mm -hmm. How much? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Four. Four hundred. Four hundred. Okay, very good. Ah. <laughs> very good. Okay, all right. Very good, guys. So I blah 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 in this house for ten years. I really like it. Me, me, God, me. I can me hear you. you. Hey, okay, it right. was, it was, it was. <laughs> I can wah, hear wah, you. Okay, wah, wah, wah. All right, very good. Okay, let's go. So <laughs> what is it? Wah, wah, wah. Um, I have, I have, 
Don't ask me. You have to give me the answer, the full answer. The Q. The Q. No, no, no. Wow, 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 wow. What is what? the answer? Wow, wow, wow. I. What is it? You was. Hold on, you guys. Was. Hold on. I'm gonna. Okay, hold on. Okay, what is the answer? Wow, wow. Okay, yep. I have. I, I have. I have lived in this house for. Wow. Ten years. I really like. Are it. Are you from that from Five, that team, Miriam? Four. Three. Two. No. <laughs> Two. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give you minus five for 400 points. Who wants to win the five, the 400 points, guys? Who wants to try it? I live. I live in this house. All right, so years. nobody. Thank you very much. All right, so well, well, you got minus 400. All right. All right, very good. So the that's it, guys. Okay, all right. We only uh. have chance for one round because. It's already time, guys. But the winners, guys, okay? We're gonna play one more time, guys, on, on, on Monday, right? If we if we have enough time. The Cubos, the Cubos with 700 points, guys. Good job, good job, Cubos, okay? Ooh. Then in second place, we have I Can't Hear You with 200. Good job, I Can't Hear You. All right, good job. Plus, guys, plus, 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 right? All right, and then we have Pioneers, Pioneers, and we are here with zero points. In third place, good job, all right. <laughs> Zero points, and then wow, wow, you have minus 400, okay? All right, guys, so oh, good job, too, right? Applause, very good. All right, anyways, guys, uh, <laughs> all right, very good. Um, so how do you like it, guys? Do you like the game? Okay. Yes, I like. Yes, yeah. I like. All right, you very so, funny. that's very funny. Come yes, it, it's, it's, it's it's funny it's funny My, anyways guys um <clears throat> monday is gonna be our last class here mm. uh so i i needed to be early all right and uh we're gonna go over the final results in, in the platform and you know we have the last activity uh I, I understand that you have you know some papers to complete please complete them guys so you can get the other scholarship i mean the continue with the scholarship and also guys um the platform, okay? Uh, is there anybody here who hasn't completed the platform? Alguien aquí que no haya completado la plataforma todavía, guys? All right. So everybody has, so so has everybody completed the platform? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes. okay, very good. Yeah. All right, so. I yes. the great, okay, so, so nice, nice. Thank you, guys, okay? Remember the, the minimum score, guys, is 80%, right? Tiene que estar eh, en 80% por lo menos. But um, if you have completed it, guys, thank you. Thanks a lot, okay? Other than that, guys, um, I don't know. Is there any question, guys? Do you have any question for me? Una, una pregunta? No? No question. Thank you. All right. Very good, guys. So in that case, guys, thank you very much, okay? Um, I'll see you on Monday, guys, and have a very good rest of the week. Bye. Enjoy, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Teacher. Take care. Bye. Bye.